It's not a good time, Wendy. Dad's dead. What? This is Where I Leave You is a movie that centers around a death in a dysfunctional family. And among all the bickering and laughter, there's this kid. Man, this little boy and his potty have it all figured out, right? But aside from being cute, it's symbolic of innocence and simplicity, and I wanted to ask the cast about it. I just didn't know exactly how or what to ask them, so I had to fumble through it. I started with the director, Sean Levy. I did not anticipate how much people would respond to that runner and that kid, but I mean, every time I've ever shared this movie with an audience, that both as metaphor and as just adorable sight, right. um, it's a lot of people comment on it. And I think that, you know, in a movie that is about the ways that grown-ups are flailing to find contentment, mm -hmm. there's something poignant about a kid who finds it in such a simple way. Where would you drop your porta potty? At? I, okay, that's where you're workshopping this. <laughs> Did you? I have four daughters. I'm just looking for some peace and freaking quiet. Undaunted, I continued my search for the perfect phrasing of this question with Corey Stoll and Adam Driver. Is it that I want to ask you where you're most comfortable? I think my bathroom. <laughs> I feel pretty comfortable there. <laughs> and it has the uh, the added ability of being able to flush. Fl yeah. 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 There you go. Good solid point. Good. <laughs> Okay, so should we start rolling? Yeah. <laughs> nope, I still didn't quite have it. Onward. I knew that Tina Fey and Jason Bateman would get me. If you could set a porta potty anywhere, okay. where would we crap if we could? Is that <laughs> the end of your anywhere? question? I'm if we take could crap at one place, is that yeah. is that where you're going? Yeah. It's the greatest question of the day. Times Square. Bingo. Times Square. Just that's where you, that's where you drag, your, drag your seat to? <laughs> I'm certainly the not the first person to crap there. <laughs> I once walked by a guy taking a crap at noon on 6th Avenue on like a Saturday. Wait, 6th Avenue and what? Like 23rd. I mean, sure. it, was, it was heavily populated. Yeah. It was hot <laughs> and it was high sun. Yeah. And he didn't even bend his knees, really. Yeah. Okay, enjoy that. I was asking for that answer. There you go. Now I'm gonna go see what Jane Fonda says. <laughs> She's super progressive. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to drop my own metaphorical potty in front of Jane Fonda and produce that question. So I panicked and asked her about her breasts instead. Well, look how nice they are. You know, mother, those are not the same breasts you nursed us with. You got bionic breasts now. Your character has amazing boobs. Yeah, I wish they were mine. <laughs> Where do I come across a pair of boobs like those? <laughs> well, there's a guy in a valley, and he puts them on very carefully. It's, it's not people thought they were foam rubber. They're not. They're silicone. There's always a guy in the valley. There's a guy. <laughs> You're funny. I couldn't help but wonder if she would have answered the potty question. Maybe next time, two-time Academy Award winner Jane Fonda. Maybe next time.